Hello everyone, welcome to my talk. My name is Xia Li, a second year PhD student at Nanka University. Today, I would like to present our paper, Chosen Instruction Attack Against the Commercial Commercialization of Asikators. This is a joint work with Peng Na Qiu, Qian Chen, and my advisors Chun Fu Jia from Nanka University, Jiang Ming from the University of Texas Arlington, and De Bing Gao from Singapore Management University. In the following 15 minutes, I will show you what is the Chosen Instruction Attack and how we use this attack to extract the knowledge from state-of-the-art commercial collateralization of skaters. Before talking about the chosen instruction attack, let's figure out what is collateralization. At first, collateralization is a semantic preserving collateralization technique. It is different from system virtualization, such as VMware. Secondly, in virtualized programs, the protected area uses a complex customized process level virtual machine to emulate native instructions. And the virtual SA is undisclosed. It increases the difficulty for reverse engineers to understand the virtualized instructions. Now, who is using collateralization? It is often used by software developers to protect copyrights, but it is also abused by malware authors and APT groups. We observe that they all prefer to use commercial of skaters rather than to use customized ones, because developing a collateralization is a time-consuming and error-prone process. That's the reason why we choose commercial of skaters as targets. Here is an example of how a novel program is transformed into a virtualized program. Assuming the native instruction to be virtualized is XREBX 0xBeef. According to the internal mapping rules, the obfuscator will transform the native instruction to corresponding virtual handlers. For example, the obfuscator will use the vdecrypt mem handler to recover the immediate 0x beef operand at runtime. Then the obfuscator will combine the virtual handlers with the VM structure and other obfuscation, such as junk instructions, to generate virtualized instructions. These virtualized instructions will be inserted into obfuscated programs. At the runtime, the obfuscated program will use the process level virtual machine to emulate the semantics of our original instruction. There are mainly two types of virtual machine structures. The traditional interpreter uses a central loop to fetch the bytecode and schedule corresponding handlers. Each virtual handler will return to the same dispatcher. This loop structure is a conspicuous pattern that can be easily recognized by analysts. Therefore, Advanced commercial obfuscators adopt another VM structure, direct threaded code. In this picture, you can see that the central dispatcher doesn't exist. Each virtual handler can jump directly to the next one. To defeat virtualized malware, the first challenge is locating important virtualized instructions from enormous highly obfuscated instructions. The analysts only need the important virtual handlers between VM start and VM end. But uh, the sophisticated obfuscators usually integrate with multiple obfuscation schemes to protect the virtual components. It will greatly increase the difficulty for analysts to identify important instructions. Another challenge is how to learn complete knowledge from a black box. Since the commercial obfuscator's internal mechanism is a black box, given a piece of virtualized instructions. The reverse engineers have to spend significant efforts in understanding the original semantic. But if the analysts have the mapping rules, they can easily recover the original instructions. To address these challenges, the existing deobfuscation works mainly perform three steps, from detecting VM structure to recovering mapping rules, but they all have to rely on knowledge-based algorithms. Therefore, the effectiveness of these research works is depending on the security analyst's knowledge. They also need fingering the benchmarks for ev systematic evaluation. In the following, I will introduce how our approach can solve the aforementioned problems. Our chosen instruction attack model is inspired by chosen plain text attack, a cryptanalysis model. Similarly, CI attackers do not have to analyze the black box of our skater. They can learn knowledge from virtualized programs. In this picture, you can see a simplified version of the CIA model. Firstly, attackers construct special programs as the input of obfuscators. In each input program, attackers can insert different kinds of knowledge leaking code. 
then the hackers can get corresponding virtualized programs from the Avast Kitter. After analyzing the virtualized knowledge in the code, they can learn and reuse extract knowledge, such as mapping rules. But there are two problems that the CI attackers have to solve. The first one is how to locate the virtualized knowledge you can code. Even if CI attackers can control the contents of the input programs, they still have to face heavy obfuscation. To locate the virtualized knowledge you can code, we designed the anchor instruction. In a nutshell, anchor is a kind of instruction that cannot be virtualized by obfuscators. An instruction has to satisfy two conditions to become an anchor. The first one is format preserving. It means that the anchor instruction has to keep the original representation in virtualized programs. It can help CI attackers easily locate anchor instructions from a long execution trace. The second condition is virtualization repelling. When the process level virtual machine cannot emulate an instruction, the VM has to be suspended or terminated and switch to the native environment. After executing the anchor instruction, the VM will resume execution. Therefore, the anchor instruction can force the obfuscator to generate multiple context switch instructions. In this picture, you can see that the context saving and the context restoring instructions are around the anchor instruction. CI attackers can apply data flow analysis to extract virtualized instructions that contribute to the native context. Moving to the second problem, how to learn complete knowledge from virtualized instructions. After locating virtualized knowledge leaking code, we still have to split the important virtualized instructions from junk instructions. To solve this problem, we propose the guided simplification method. Since the original information knowledge leaking code is known, we can use forward and backward slicing to extract related virtualized instructions. For example, if the knowledge leaking code is add ex 0x1, we can start backward slicing from the register ex. After normalization, we can get simplified virtualized instructions. As you can see in the picture, the knowledge leaking code is inserted between two anchor instructions. Then by searching the anchor instructions, the attackers can quickly locate virtualized knowledge leaking code from a long execution trace. To extract the complete mapping rules, we resolve the Intel XED to generate different categories of valid instructions as knowledge leaking code. With the help of anchor instructions and the guided simplification, CI attackers can automatically extract knowledge from obfuscators. As for the evaluation, the anchor instruction is the key component of the CI model. We found 760 general anchor instructions feasible for all four obfuscators. As you can see in the first table, the anchor instructions can be categorized into four types. There are 681 anchor instructions retrieving information from the system kernel or hardware. The processor level virtual machine cannot emulate these instructions. As for the effectiveness of anchor instruction, the size of choose files can be greatly reduced by anchor instructions. In, the, in this table, you can see the tree size of virtualized program generated by VM Protect is greatly reduced. Furthermore, we extract two essential knowledge, mapping rules and virtual machine structures. The experiment results shows that only VM Protect and Obsidium have O2M transformation. It means that the obfuscator can use a combination of multiple operation handlers to emulate the original native instruction. For example, the VM protector can apply O2M transformation to 116 instructions. Another finding is that most recent of us kitters have replaced the decoded dispatch loop with the threaded code word structure. To reuse this extracted knowledge, we create a fingerprint benchmark based on the extracted mapping rules. We use two metrics, recovery rate and redundancy rate to evaluate the effectiveness of the three state-of-art deobfuscation techniques. The extracted knowledge can set a security analysts in improving deobfuscation techniques. For example, with the help of anchor instruction, VM Hunt can handle the virtualized program generated by VM Protector 3.5. Here are some potential mitigations against the chosen instruction attack. 
The last three mitigations are against the implementation of CIA. Attackers can always find a way to improve analysis techniques. As for the first three mitigations, PM1, the manufacturers cannot virtualize every anchor such as this call. Besides, one single anchor instruction is enough to achieve chosen instruction attack. PM2 is a promising direction for the manufacturers, but it will also increase development costs and impair the flexibility of mapping rules. Attackers can also apply countermeasures. As for PM3, it is able to stop CIA attackers, but it is an expensive choice for software authors. Okay, let's come to the limitations of our work. Firstly, CIA attackers have to interact with obfuscators. Inaccessible obfuscators are out of the scope of chosen instruction attack model. Secondly, the CIA model is built on top of DBI-based dynamic analysis. It can be impeded by anti-debugging techniques, but we can combine other countermeasures to defeat these anti-techniques. Lastly, the selection of anchor instruction depends on the architecture. For example, the risk is a reduced instruction set. It may limit the number of anchor instructions. We leave the last two as our future work. In conclusion, this work shows that the state-of-art commercial code virtualization of ASCITERs are under the threat of chosen instruction attack. CIA attackers can successfully extract knowledge from ASCITERs. This work also shows the existing heuristic selections are relying on the human experience. This process needs analysis to painfully examine lots of virtualized programs. The selected results are suffering from inaccuracy and incompleteness. Our extract knowledge and benchmarks can help to improve the diversification methods. Finally, thank you for your time. Any questions?